Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a timetable using Excel. Now, this timetable can be used for school or whatever you want to use it for. But basically, the timetable I'm going to show you, you can modify it a bit depending on how you want it. But I'm going to have the days of the week up the top and the times down the side. So, I'll start by typing in the days of the week. You just have to type in two and then you can drag it across. I will leave out Saturday, Sunday as if this is school, you don't go to school then. And then on the sides we'll have the times. So I'll start 9 o'clock and then go down. Again you only need to do two and then you can drag it on. However, so we don't have 24 hour time, I'll have that go back to 1 o'clock. And I'll finish at 5 o'clock. Or actually I'll finish at 4 o'clock. That's more typical of a school day. Even 3 o'clock. But um, once you have that, I'll highlight all of this. Outline it. In fact, I'll move everything here so that we get this outline up here and over here as well. And then I'll also outline it with all borders. You'll have to do all borders first and then do the thick one. And then I'll outline the days and the times. And then once you have that, we can start adding in subjects. So say at on Monday at 9 o'clock you had math and then English. And then 11 o'clock you had history. 12 o'clock, let's say, is lunch. And it'd be safe to assume you have lunch same day every week, same time. So we could add some color by making this black. We might add some color here as well by making the text white and adding some dark gray for the color. And then you can simply continue filling it in. So let's say after lunch we had IT accounting, and sport. And you can add colors to all them depending on what color you think a subject so be, should be. So I might make math orange, English blue, history green, IT can be purple, accounting can be gray, and sport can be yellow. And then we can shorten this a bit as well as these and then we can simply fill it the rest of the way through which I'll put a time lapse on so you can see and I'll put the last ones in and there you go you got a timetable of course you don't have to do it exactly like I did mine, you can change it up a bit. But that's a basic idea of how you can do it in Excel. So I hope you found this video helpful and if you did, please consider liking and subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.